How's it going friends? My name is Fringy and welcome to Stupid YouTube Comments number 4. Now this time it's going to be a little bit different because this wasn't a comment, rather it was some hate mail. I gotta say I'm a little bit flattered that it only took me one and a half years and less than 1,500 subscribers to get my first piece of hate mail. But it is honestly one of the dumbest things that I've ever had the misfortune of reading. Seriously, you guys will not believe how stupid this guy is. Now, I'll give you a bit of background. Apparently, this guy actually used to be a subscriber, but because of something that you will not fucking believe, he hates me now. And it is truly glorious. Let's have a read, shall we? Now, I'm gonna warn you right now, this is fucking long. Really long. More than a page long. I shit you not, this guy sat down and wrote more than one page worth of fucking bullshit to try and hurt my feelings and make me feel bad. Obviously, it didn't really work. And while I would usually ignore stupid shit like this, I mean, this is just too good. I gotta share this with you. Fringy, you're a true piece of shit. You actually ignored my messages about watching the video, yet on Twitch you were able to watch someone else's video, which was complete garbage. Two fanboys arguing over which game was better, making dumb laughs, yet you were pretty much able to sit through almost till the end, but you exited my video without even five minutes in. That sure says a lot, doesn't it, on what you like and don't like, yet you give me your opinion on something you didn't even watch the entire thing of? That's pretty ironic. Now, we can already see that the grammar is fucking atrocious, and the logic is complete shit. This guy is pissed off at me because I didn't watch a video that he sent me. I... I don't get it. I really don't fucking get it. If wrong answers annoy you that much, then you sounded like you were going to cry when you exited. Oh, I can't take this crying face. I hate to see you in the real world. Then I'll find out you're 17, wrong you're, also wrong age, and it makes sense, I think. When I was 17, I definitely not calling people stupid for every wrong mistake the person made or getting angry over little things. Again, really shit grammar on display. And also, I like this part here. I hate to see you in the real world. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in it right now fucking moron. I mean, you don't even know me, and you're trying to say that you understand how I behave, and how I deal with fucking problems in the real world. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. And if you did actually listen to some of the things I'd say, you kind of realize that my head meat is, is working upstairs, which I can't say for you. Because I, this is probably going to be addressed later on, but what kind of guy who claims to be an adult, like a fully grown man, would write out one and a half pages of bullshit over some YouTuber that pissed them off because they didn't watch a video that they liked? Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty fucking immature to me. But, there's more. Oh, there's a lot more. I've already unsubscribed from your YouTube channel and Twitch. I have no plans on viewing any of your videos. You ain't worth watching and your content is pretty repetitive. Which, of course, you don't care. You've got thousands of subscribers. Which, I don't care either. Well, you do, but whatever. But just wanted to let you know, I believe you're just another copycat of the Angry Joe Show, Angry Video Game Nerd, and all the other crazed angry YouTubers. Like, I was like, I unsubscribed. Oh no, that really hurts. <laughs> and I, I get the feeling that this guy probably is still subscribed because I'm probably going to see him leave a comment in this video because he's pissed off that I responded to him. I also like this. Your content is pretty repetitive. Uh, okay, I beg to fucking differ. If my content was repetitive, I'd be uploading like every day about resolutions and shit. Which I don't. I think I made three videos on resolutions this year. Go to any other YouTube channel regarding gaming news... And tell me that you've only seen two or three videos on resolutions. You can't, because that's just what you see. I also like this. You're a copycat of the Angry Joe Show. I don't review video games. Angry Video Game Nerd, he also reviews video games. I don't watch him anyway. I don't even know what he's like. This probably comes as a surprise to you, but I don't. And even then, I'm just uh, usually an angry person by nature. Doesn't really mean I'm copying... And there's lots of people who are angry on the internet. Doesn't mean they're copying. They know that's what people like. To see angry people getting angry over whatever the hell they're talking about. Which is mostly little things. I mean, that is incredibly ironic. But we'll get to that later. And that cranks in views. <laughs> what the fuck? So you decided to get on that to gain subscribers and views. To ignite the flame on your channel. 
Just like your other channel saying stupid shit, didn't get enough views, so you dumped it. The one- What? I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. The one showing your ugly face, that would have been in the video. I believe it's just an act to gain subscribers and views. Oh yeah, it's definitely working fantastically, isn't it? m eight, you have some serious anger management issues. Maybe, but whatever. As earlier on your channel wasn't getting much of that, it gets tired seeing the same shit yelling in the video about the industry over the same damn thing. Like the developers actually watching your video or giving a shit on what you think on their acts. Uh, it, it, fucking grammar is ridiculous. But let's just analyze this because this is probably the, the most retarded part of the whole fucking hate mail. Uh, he's saying that I'm doing this for views. Now, everybody who makes videos on YouTube is doing it for views. Nobody is doing it just for the fun of it. If you were, you wouldn't upload them to the internet. So no shit, I like the views. But, I mean, there are so many more effective ways that I could be getting more views. And yet I haven't done them. I usually, well, I, I always try to do this, but I always try to make sure that my titles are not inflammatory or fanboyish or that I don't have stupid misleading thumbnails. I don't do that kind of thing. I could easily do stupid thumbnails with boobs and shit all over them and cap locks and all of this fanboy shit and I could get a fuckload more views. But yet I don't. I, oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because I'm not as desperate for views as this cock nugget seems to think I am. Also, if I wanted more views, why the fuck would I be n not sticking to any side of the fanboy argument? As you've seen, at least for smaller channels, picking a side for the fanboy wars tends to help. I mean, we've seen this with fucking Zaire. For, for whatever reason, anybody would watch any of his videos. But you can just look at him as an example. People watch his shit. Because he's a fucking Xbox fanboy. It, I mean, there are so many effective ways that I could be getting views. And yet I don't. It's because it's not all about the views. It's not. Fucking moron. Ah, oh, but here we go. Here, he's trying to turn the tables on me now. Or even taking your advice. Some of your videos are just copycats from Review Tech USA. Especially the one on not falling into the PC gaming trap. Deja vu anyone? Well, I mean, the videos had completely different points. And the whole point of it was to say that it was hypocritical for him to make a video about that. And then buy a $1,000 CPU. But, but anyway, continuing. Yet you have no money to be spending on upgrading PC equipment. <laughs> This is fucking stupid. You don't know my finances. Not once have I ever said I can't afford this shit. I can, believe me. Uh, often. So how can you put yourself in that situation on being addicted to something if you have no money to spend upgrading parts often? Okay, I'm just going to stop there. I can very easily afford more parts. But the reason why I can afford the parts is because I don't fucking buy them at every single conceivable moment when I could. I could go out and buy Titan Z if I wanted to. I can fucking afford it. But I don't because that's fucking stupid. And that's why I have the money to buy the things that I have. You're not even in this situation, Review Tech USA was. So how are you inclined to make a video showing people on how to avoid something if you're not in the same boat? Oh, uh, well, I am. I am a PC gamer. I have a PC. So I'm in the same boat. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your money is to something much more important. What? <laughs> You're not in that situation, so you can stafu. That's like getting advice from a doctor who ain't a doctor. Not really. They're completely different. Making announcements on how much... Fucking hell. On how much subscribers you have. Let's have a party over it. I don't get it. Uh, well, it's part of a sort of appreciation. Thanks, you know, something like that. I'm 100% sure you'd be pretty enraged over the loss of a bunch of your subscribers and just close your channel, just like your other. I I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, about closing my other channel. I've had other channels, but I decided to start from scratch. I've had this channel for like four or five years at this stage. I think it's about four years. I've been on YouTube a lot longer than that. I didn't delete other channels. These other channels that he's talking about, I, they're still up. I can't remember the names, but I'm pretty sure they're still up. I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Is he mixing someone up with me? It, like, I... <laughs> fucking hell, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, oh, but there's more. There's still more to go. 
getting ticked off in a game of League of Legends where you called out on a can't find the word, let's say class, and the host chooses to ignore your request, you get ticked off like he's supposed to actually give a shit on what you want. Maybe you should try looking up what host means. Host makes the rules, not you. Well, okay, okay so this is a blatant example of not actually understanding the game. Uh, what does he mean host? There's no fucking host. It's just 5v5. And you just pick the players that you want. And you pick which roles you want. And then you get annoyed at people who ignore that you already chose the role. What the fuck is this host shit he's talking about? I don't- Fucking hell, man. Someone not agreeing with what you said? Let's get angry over it. Uh, yell at the person. Until he slash she agrees with you so we can settle down. Let's call him slash she stupid. I mean, him slash she is not correct. It would be he slash she or him slash her. This is simple shit. As well, as well since I aren't agreeing with, with he slash she said. This whole he slash she, just pick one. It doesn't matter if you choose the wrong one. Calling out Review Tech USA on how he spends money reckless. What is the deal with this whole Review Tech USA thing? It's one thing. And I still like the guy. I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Yet you ain't making close to the amount he's making, so your input's invalid. <sighs> Maybe it's because you have better management than him, cause you have much, much less money than him coming in. You think... <laughs> what? It's clear as day if you're making squat money, you would be spending your money more wisely than the person who's making money here and there. Uh, not necessarily true, but whatever. It's pretty obvious you don't have much friends. <laughs> the grammar on display. Much friends. Fucking hell. In the real world, so you go on the internet to vent your frustrations on a hobby you enjoy. Make invisible friends over the internet to satisfy your needs for attention and fun. Talking about PewDiePie or whatever his name is all the time. I don't. It's clear you're jealous of the situation he's in and looking to put him down. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. It just keeps getting worse and worse. I like this. It's pretty obvious you don't have much friends in the real world. Th that is obvious to you because of some videos that I put up online. Now, granted, I have an off-putting personality. I do. But who gives a fuck? Who really gives a shit? Everybody has problems. So obviously because you have some level of, you know, social problems, which all people have, that means that you have no friends and you go on the internet and make friends online, which there's nothing even wrong with that, <laughs> especially if they have the same interests as you. No, that makes you a piece of shit. Oh, man. And talking about PewDiePie all the time. I don't. I, I, I don't talk about him a lot. I mean, I talk about DSP a lot more than I talk about PewDiePie. I just try to ignore him at this stage, because I just don't give a fuck anymore. I like, it's pretty clear you're jealous, uh, wrong you're, by the way, of the situation he's in and looking to put him down. <laughs> Everybody would be jealous of being able to make four million dollars a year from playing video games. But does that mean your points are valid? Like, this is the biggest problem with the you're jealous argument. If someone's jealous, does that negate facts? No, it doesn't. So it's a stupid point. Ah, but here's the last line. It's the punchline, the big kicker, the thing to get me down and make me start cutting my wrist because of how pathetic I am. But anyways, I'm done and looking forward to the end of this with a fuck you. No, Fred. No, th I would prefer to say thank you. Thank you for sharing this fucking abomination of text and bullshit with me. Because it really put a smile on my face. I know that you sat down here and you were like, Oh man, I'm gonna make Fringy so upset, I hope he quits YouTube! Uh, <laughs> oh man, no. This is just... This is just too good! It's so glorious to see someone who... Who hates me so much! And really, it's purely because I didn't watch a video that he sent me. That I don't even remember. Things fall through the cracks. Things fucking get lost. You know? 1,300 people is still a lot of people when you think about it. Sometimes I forget. I'm, s I'm not really sorry because <laughs> this is so unimportant. But I mean, this guy who's claiming to me that he's... That I'm a fucking immature child or something because I talk about the games and stuff on the internet. And yet this guy sat down at his computer and he really thought about this. That much is obvious to me. Which indicates to me either one of two things. Either he's a fucking man-child 
who takes the who takes this shit way too fucking seriously. So much so that he wrote out about two pages of shit to try and make me feel bad. Or he is a child. Either way, it doesn't work for him. I think I think the latter is more appropriate because even though I know that humanity is stupid, I cannot believe for the life of me that someone would be this fucking retarded to sit down here and write out all this bullshit. Someone will probably say to me, you're taking this too seriously. You know, I was planning on not even responding to this guy, but it was too funny. It was too funny and I had to share this to you. I had to share all of this with you. This guy is a fucking moron. This guy is a pathetic piece of shit. And this guy takes me not watching a, one video that he sent me far too fucking seriously. But I'm not going to say fuck you. I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for sharing this post with me. Because it, I'm sure it put a smile on everybody's face. That's it for stupid YouTube comments number four. I'm Fringy, and as always, have a good one.